Hi, Natasha here. I'm gonna do a yoga inspired drill class, starting with a warm up. Come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose at the top of your mat. Palms forward, shoulders back and down. Gently tuck the tailbone to find a neutral spine. Spread your toes, anchor down. And as you press down into the feet, can you lift the crown of the head a little bit higher? Relax the shoulders. The muscles in the face soften, forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Start to engage the quads, pull the kneecaps upward, the belly drawing inward. Take a nice calming breath. Inhale, sigh, exhale. Deep breath in. Fill the lungs, expand through the rib cage, and then as you sigh out, ah, make it audible. Feel any stress lingering in the body. Imagine you're letting it go with that big sigh. Inhale deeply. Exhale, completely empty out the lungs. Any last bit of tension in the body, any thoughts creeping in, see if you can send that out of the mind and just focus on exactly what you're doing and how you're feeling in this very moment. Let's stretch the arms over the head. Inhale, sweep up. Hands can connect, gaze to the thumbs and start to pull the fingers upward, ribs upward, heart to sky, maybe gentle back bend, doesn't have to be anything deep. Let's bring the chin forward and just start to bring that neutral neck, so ear by biceps. Squeeze the glutes, lean and neutral. Exhale, come to a halfway forward fold. Let the crown of the head go forward. As the tailbone sends back, you might bend the knees here, that's okay. If you can work them straighter, maybe bend and straighten, try to bring in some flexibility into the hamstrings. Now start to pump the palms up, engaging core and triceps, and also stretching the shoulders. So try to find your full range of motion in your lift, as high as you can lift each one. Four, three, two, one. Same thing with the arms over the head. As high as you can lift, you can bend the knees a bit, scoop the belly towards the spine, try and come down to a nice flat back. And then we're gonna come and meet our belly right on top of our thighs, squatting pretty deeply here. Send the hips down, halfway up. Hips down, halfway up. Feel the quads and the core, stretch the arms forward. Halfway up, grab a hold of your opposite elbow. Let your body fall into Uttanasana. Forward fold, take some breaths here. Rock and sway. <sighs> Maybe spin around the feet. Nice work. Let the head completely go. Try to lift up through the tailbone. Can you find any more space? Also think about engaging the quad muscles, pulling the kneecaps up, sending the tailbone up, and again, creating a little more length in the back of the legs. Maybe you bring your hands to the base of the neck, creating a little bit of weight that is gonna pull you down and create a little more space in that cervical spine. Good, bring your hands to the mat, step back into a downward facing dog and start to pedal. High heel, low heel, high heel, low heel, both up, down, up. Stay. Try and bring your chest toward your toes. Spread the fingers. Grip into your mat with your fingertips. Imagine you're pushing the mat forward, drawing the chest backwards. Tailbone upwards. Knees can always be bent. High heel. Heels go left. Bring your hip down. Lift the right arm. Gaze up. Lower to forearm. Strengthening shoulder. Press onto hand. Come back where you came from. Right hand lands, hips go up, rock. High heels, send your heels to the right. Sit your right hip down, left arm up towards sky. Take that gaze up. Lower to right forearm. 
lift to hand, hips up, left hand down, downward facing dog. One more time, a little quicker. High heel, drop left hip, reach right arm up, gaze up. Lower forearm, lift to hand, lift hips, spin down dog. High heels, hips to the right, left hand to sky, gaze up. Forearm, hand, hips, downward facing dog. Pedal, we're gonna just rock back and forth. So rocking forward, rock back. Rock forward, rock back. Shorten your down dog. We're gonna practice pushing away to chair pose at the back of the mat. Rock forward, see if you can push right into Utkatasana. Rock, hands back. And you could crawl forward if you don't feel like you can catch that landing there. Rock forward, push away, chair. Hands down, can crawl forward or land forward. Rock forward, push back. Hands down, stay here. It's a short down dog. This time, we're gonna rock forward back and try to push away into a little handstand. You don't have to hold it to see where you can get those hips. Press the shoulders down, grip into the fingertips as if they were your brakes. Rock forward, rock back, hips up. Rock forward, rock back, hips up. Rock forward, rock back, maybe hips and feet up. And hop forward. Release, Uttanasana. Forward bend, calming breaths. Halfway lift, spining gaze long, flat back. Exhale, your fold. Root to rise, sweep up, palms to heart center, feel your heart beating. Nice deep, deep inhale, big exhale. Whew. Moving into our first drill, inhale, arms up, exhale, swan dive or forward fold, palms through heart center. Halfway lift, spine gaze long, bend knees, plant hands down, jump back to plank, hold your plank. So we're gonna make our way to the drill, but right here, just hold your plank. We haven't been here. Spread your fingers, grip into the mat, rock, stretch the arches of the feet, toes right to the ball. Toes, ball, and land. All right, quick cat cow round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push the mat forward, tuck tailbone under, squeeze core. Inhale, lift, head, chest, and tailbone. One more time. Exhale, and inhale. Good. Shift back, step right foot forward. Sweep it up. All right, come into a low lunge. Shift the hips back over the left knee. So right foot is forward, and we're in this 90-90 short lunge, scooping in through the abdominals. Try to straighten out the front knee. We're gonna take a little hip hinge, and that's only gonna be as deep as your hamstring can handle. So it's a balance, take your time, be safe. Hip hinge, lean forward, tuck back toes, high lunge. Arms can stretch up. Half split, hover again over that front leg as deep as you can. Lower back down, and then charge back in. So from like an extended child's pose, left foot forward, scoop back to neutral. And as you take this pelvic tilt, 90-90, then we'll work the left leg straight. Hip hinge. And bend into front knee as you lean forward now. Tuck back toes under. High lunge, try to straighten back knee. Little hop in, forward fold and pyramid. You'll get a little deeper as we gain flexibility. Back through low lunge, shift back, child's pose. All right, that was our practice round. Let's go through it a few times. Lift, inhale, right foot forward, balance. Hands behind head, shift hips back. Half split, forward fold, hip hinge. And shift forward, tuck back, toes under, straighten. Arms lift, straighten back leg. 
little hop in either way, front leg or back leg, forward fold. Arms can lift, maybe they come behind the back, pyramid. Step back through lunge to low lunge. Bring the knees to meet. Again, hinging forward to child's pose. Round up, left foot forward, hands behind head. Low, neutral, straighten, half split, forward fold. Lean forward, arms up, tuck toes. High lunge, hop it in just slightly. Flex front toes, maybe reach arms. You could try to bind the arms this time. Pyramid, release the hands, step back, high, low, release the toes, child's pose. So getting the heart rate up, let's do one more. Take a moment in your child's pose to rock the hips, release the spine. Inhale, lift, right foot steps forward. <sighs> hands behind head, neutral, flex front foot, maybe walk it out a little bit. Hip hinge, be very mindful here, it's a balance and a fold. So if your hamstrings are tight, it might just be short range. Step on it, lean forward. Arms up, tuck back toes under. High lunge. Step in, maybe bind hands, pyramid forward fold. Big breath in and out. Step back, release hands, high to low, and shift, kneeling, fold, Child's pose, left leg forward, lift and step, hands behind head, low, neutral, half split, fold. Step forward, arms up, tuck back toes, high lunge, pick up the back knee. Step in, bind hands, square hips, right hip forward, left hip back, pyramid pose. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lift those arms over the head and release, step back, high to low, untuck the toes, push away, child's pose. Take a little time to recover, connect to the breath. You can pause this at any time. If you need water, we're gonna stay right where we are and practice hip hinge backwards using the quads to camel. Take a breath. Shift pelv the pelvis forward tuck it under and then lift up. So using the quads to get you up. So we're going to take a backwards hip hinge, leaning back, quads on, quads on, <sighs> lift. All right, so this is just practice. And then eventually we're going to try to go from this hip hinge to Ustrasana camel. To make it easier, you might tuck the toes so the heels are more accessible. Lean back, grab on, Charge the hips and heart forward and up. Camel, bring the head forward, maybe release the toes, hinge, and back through your forward fold. All right, so lift up to kneeling. Pelvic tilt, thrust forward using quads. Hands can go behind head as you lean back. See if you can grab onto the heels, whether they're tucked under or not and then push the hips forward, heart upward. Whew. Come back through your hip hinge, neutral spine. Whew. And then into your fold, quads on fire. Come up to kneeling. Two more times. Pelvic tilt, scoop, scoop, scoop up. Hinge back, neutral. Nice line from knee to head. And then see, maybe you tuck the toes under. See if you can grab on, then push the chest up, hips forward over knees. Deep in your camel, breathe. Hands can support head, neutral out the spine. No more back bend. Charge it up. Swing it down. Back bends always make my heart race. Good. Again, lift up to kneeling. Pelvic tilt, squeeze up. Kneeling up high, hip hinge backwards. Reach for the heels, push the chest up, hips forward, Ustrasana. Camel, tuck the chin, neutral pelvis, hip hinge, and back to child's pose. My quads are on fire, I don't know about you. Take a couple breaths in child's pose. All right. 
wiggle the hips from side to side. We're gonna go into a little plank series. Bring your fingertips wide. Index finger forward. We have this slight external rotation in the palms. We're protracting the shoulders and we're gonna walk back to a plank. So from plank, sweep your hips to the right. Lower your hips like you're doing an upward facing dog on one leg. So allow the shoulder to stay pressing down. Hips sink, lift, take that opposite hand, left hand towards right ankle, come back through and then square out to neutral. Hips go left, swing down like a twisting upward facing dog. Shoulders down, heart forward. Down dog, twist, right hand to left toes, ankle, calf, shin, whatever you can reach. And then come back, square out. Neutral, I'm gonna add on to this. Plank, rotate the hips to the right. Swing them down, now. You can rest the ankle and shin down. We're gonna to try to lift this left arm up, then twist it back. Come back, roll the hips to neutral. Square them out, send the hips to the left, swing them down. See if you can lift the right arm. We're still depressing the shoulder. Breathe and swing the hips up, shoulder down, and reach back. So the feet and toes and ankles are really just gonna go for the ride. Make it make sense in your body. I'm not gonna cue you, I want it to be natural and feel good. Twist hips to the right so they might cross. See what happens naturally. Lower the hip and the leg can land or it can stay hovered. Lift the left arm. Lift the hips, push the shoulder forward, reach back to twisting down dog. Bring the head and hips down and then wiggle step, walk, whatever you need to do to get square. Plank, hips go left, swing the hip down, lift the right arm up, push the shoulder down. Lift, lift, lift through like a side plank to a twisting down dog, back to plank. Bring the knees down. Let's take a counter stretch on the wrists and we'll just try that one more time. Rock it out a little bit, getting sweaty in here. All right, so, Side plank twist, kind of like a one-handed up dog to a twisting down dog. Jump into plank, <laughs> hips swivel right, lower the hips, lift left arm up, lift hips, reach for right ankle, whatever you can grab onto, square out, uncross the ankles if they crossed, and come back to plank. Hips left, swing down, lift the arm, Lift up through the hips, reach for the left ankle, hands down, plank pose, knees down, stretch back. Again, taking time to pay attention to the wrists, counter stretch, fingertips, fists kind of help neutral, neutralize the forearm and, and um, wrist. So you could put some tension into the fists for a few little pumps. All right. Okay, or shaking them out sometimes feels really good too, or just twisting. And from here, Sphinx pose. Elbows under shoulders, hips melting into mat. Turn the heels upward, inner thighs engaged, hamstrings and glutes on, shoulders away from ears. So we've done a little bit of back bending. We can probably press up into the hands, straighten and bend the elbows, feeling the triceps. Lift and lower, keep the glutes firing. Lift and lower. Take a moment here, then lift up. We're gonna try to lift the right arm up. Twist it back and reach for your right heel, even if you're nowhere near, keep the glutes on. Bring it back around, lower to the forearms. Straighten elbows, left arm up. Twist it around, reach back. Try to turn the gaze as well. And if this feels intense on the back, 
widen your arm so you're not back bending as far. Bring the hands down, elbows down. So the elbows are further away from the shoulder. That's gonna make it gentler on the back. If you want a deeper back bend, draw the elbows back under the shoulders. We'll just do a few more rounds of these. Inhale, straighten the elbows. See if you can spin the right arm around. You could even bend the knee this time and pull, grab the ankle, pull the feet backwards, kind of like a half bow. Release it back, lower to forearms. From here, let's tuck the toes and scoop into forearm plank, dome the back and a nice counter stretch on the spine. Tuck the tailbone, lower the hips, lift the elbows, left arm up and back, bend the knee, Grab onto the ankle and start to pull the foot backwards using your whole posterior chain. Squeeze. Bring the hand forward, lower to forearms, tuck toes, scoop into your domed plank. From here, take a little rainbow hip. Four, three, two, one. Neutral square, hips lower last time. Straighten elbows. Bend, straighten, right arm floats back. Grab the inside or outside of the ankle, it doesn't matter. Lift and pull. Try to lighten your left hand. Squeeze by kicking the right foot back. Whew. Release it back, take a quick forearm plank. <sighs> Dome the back, tuck the pelvis, lower the hips. Lift the elbows, lower the elbows. Lift and stay. If this is feeling intense, walk your hand further away. Swing the arm back. Grab a hold of the ankle. Try to pull your body upward and behind you as you kick the leg back. Maybe float onto right fingertips. Whew. And release. Come back through forearm plank. Scoop it in. Make your rainbow hips. Rainbow out. So let's do four more from here to make eight this time. Four, three, two, and one. Walk into dolphin. Can we straighten the elbows into downward facing dog? Walk your feet to the middle. Swing your hands back, forward fold, Uttanasana. You can wrap your hands around the back of your legs, shake out your heavy head. Maybe shimmy, whatever feels good. Take a rag doll up the vertebrae. All right, we're gonna just come into a wide leg goddess. Taking some nice calming breaths. My heart rate is high whenever I do back bends. You're probably feeling that too. Little goddess plie, settling into the hips, groin, inner thighs. And we're gonna add a little side to side skandasana. So shifting over, we'll stay up high to begin. Come back through center. Shifting over, come back through center. Deepening, shifting, goddess. Skandasana side lunge, got some ankle popping, cracking. Take it over, start to deepen. Now I got a knee pop and plie and side lunge. And plie, goddess. Side lunge, can we get really deep this time? Perhaps hips coming towards the mat and lifting, goddess. And other way, hips dropping, dropping, dropping. Maybe sitting, if that is in your practice. That takes some uh, Achilles tendon, ankle mobility, hip mobility, good. And open, side bend crunch. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Skandasana, side lunge. Deepen the side lunge. Try to come to seated, even if you need your hands. Drop the knees to meet, internally rotate. As you externally rotate, you're gonna bring the knee down and lift the hips. Come back, lift the knee. Widen the foot so we can go through twisting lunge away from you. Bring your hips up, hand down, twist. Pull the arms in opposition. 
Try to relax through the hips as you straighten and strengthen the back leg. Now come all the way where you came from. Side lunge to goddess. Side bend for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Inner thighs burning. Two, one. Side lunge. Other way. Make your way down, even if you need your hands. Internally rotate knees to meet. Externally rotate. Open up. Press yourself on your hand to your shin. Lift. Come back. Step on the foot a little wider. Push off your back hand. Front hand down. Swing the hips up. Twisting lunge. Stack shoulders. Energetic back leg. Breathe. Twist. Come back through Skandasana. And back up through Lattice. Let's move a little quicker. Four. Three side bend, two, one, Skandasana, sit, knees meet, open press, hips up, come back, step on that foot, twist away from me to twisting lunge, hips up, Skandasana forward, and up to the top, four, side crunch, three, two, one, other way, Skandasana. Knees meet, spin open, press onto shin, stretch the hip flexors, breathe, lower. Step the foot wide, that top hand's gonna go down, back hand's gonna lift. Now you're twisting away. Big breath in and out. And back through Skandasana, and back through Goddess. Whoo, high heels in Goddess, right and left. Alternate pulses, arms can go forward. And lift, drop, lift, drop. How about four, three, two, and one. Feel that burn, hop it in, drop it down to Malasana. Take those, the booty down, the legs in front of you, and give them a little rock and shake. All right, pressing your thumbs into your hip flexors right at the hip crease. Lean forward and massage. Really press those thumbs around. You can rock side to side a little bit and just hang out in a forward fold, releasing the spine. Big breath in and out. All right, to get ourselves back through down dog, we're going to take some abdominal rolls. Balance and boat. Deep breath in and out. Make sure you have space behind you, momentum, and then freeze. Bent knee boat or straight full boat. So modified or extended, here we go. You could do straight legs the whole time. Making it a little more challenging. Let's do three, two. After the last one, we're gonna jump through a vinyasa. Stay here on one. This time, try to come on your feet, bring your hands down, hips jump back, chaturanga. Roll, feet, chaturanga, upward facing. Downward facing dog. All right, our next drill starts in down dog, lowers to forearms as a unit. Drop, bend and land. Press the chest back. Charge into plank. Shoulders over fingers. Back through down dog. Lower to forearms. From this one, we're gonna try to come into low plank chaturanga. Gaze forward in between your thumbs, and then bend the elbows so that they hug the ribs as you lift them. <sighs> yeah, press back down up. And if that feels too challenging, bring the knees down, knees chest chin. So the first one, we'll just try go into plank, forearms, plank, down up. Forearms, dolphin, gaze forward, bend the knees as much as you need to, chaturanga or knees chest chin. Down dog. One more set. Forearms, shift plank. From your plank this time, let's open the toes a little bit wider and swivel, sweep to up dog, staying with the, keeping the toes tucked under. Now down dog. Forearms, dolphin, chaturanga, plank, hip swing, 
and then scoop up, hip stack. Last time, forearms, plank, up dog, down dog. Forearms, chaturanga, up dog from here. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Again, we're gonna meet in the middle of the mat. Step the feet to the middle, let the hands float wherever you want. They can hug around the back of the legs, come to the base of the skull, and exhale, ragdoll yourself up to standing. So we have a standing series, a kneeling, and another standing, and then we'll be done with class. A little longer than I had anticipated, but that's how it goes. Scoop the abdominals in, find a nice neutral spine. Right foot back, arm stretch forward, warrior three. Now, leg is gonna go forward, arms are gonna swing back. Now, a circle. Try to keep your leg hip height. Spin back, arms come back around the front. Back through warrior three, this time handstand to switch the leg. Bend the left supporting leg. Bring your thigh to your, your belly to your thigh. Kick up and practice a few of those. You can hold here a few times, little hops. Good, and then on the last one, we're gonna kick and scissor switch. Awesome. Come back up to the top, arms float forward. Warrior three, left leg forward, hands swing back, stand proud and tall. See if you can swing the leg high and around without lowering, the hips open and then it closes, arms forward. It's okay to lose your balance. Bend, connect thigh to belly. Plant hands down, spread fingers, shoulder width apart, next finger forward. See if you can kick up, keeping the right knee down for a few, hips, over shoulders, shoulders pressing down, grip into the mat. When you've done a few and you're ready to switch legs, kick and switch. A few more times, keep that leg lifted, grow to your warrior three. Swim the hands back, right leg forward, tall spine. Woo, my heart rate's flying. Lift up and around, so you're kind of in like a half moon for a moment. Close it back through. Jump into your handstand a few times, or if you get a hold, you can stay there. One knee tucked, one leg lifted. Then, jump switch. Good, arms up, left leg back, warrior three. Arms back, kick forward, straighten out the spine. Squeeze the belly, arms a little higher. Leg up and around. Kind of like this floating warrior three and then close the hips, uh, floating half moon and then close the hips to warrior three. And add your kick, kick ups, knee to chest. Maybe you hold it, maybe you're just hopping. And then on the last one, jump, switch, land. Come towards me, come onto the knees. Nice deep, nice, deep calming breath. All right, we're gonna work laterally. So go ahead and bring your knees and yourself to the middle of the mat so you have space on the right and left of you. And your hands a little shake, maybe a counter stretch on the wrists, fists, whatever you need to do. And we're gonna start high up on the knees. Hands behind head. Side bend like we did in Goddess. Let's go to the right. Side crunch. Challenge that edge. Drive up to the right, this time left leg extends at the same time. Balance, drop, hand to mat, and lift back up. This time we stay, hand to mat, thread the right leg through. So push down through that right shoulder, lift, knee comes forward, bend however you need to come to get into a straddle. Pancake, maybe elbows, forearms, belly. Come back where you came from. Lift, almost like a fallen triangle. Scoop the knee in and back, and then you're back where you started. 
and we'll do a few rounds going to the left this time. Side bend, deep, deep, deep. Side bend with leg extension. Hand can come down. Spin the shoulders and rib cage to stack. Hand up, drive it back through. This time lower, sweep left leg up. Press into left fingers and shoulder. Sweep it out, just straddle. Any way you need to do that. Maybe you, you bend the knees, um, or you can keep them nice, long, and straight. Elbows could tap, forearms, or full pancake stretch. Spin the left arm up like you're doing a backstroke. Lift up into fallen triangle. Scoop that left leg up, set it back under, and spin yourself back to the top. All right, let's do it again. Big breath in to the right. Crunch, maybe elbow this time hits hip. Crunch, extend leg. When the hand goes down, let's lift this uh, left leg and pull the arms in opposition. Squeeze, come back up, drop the foot and stay this time. Right hands down, we're gonna pick up the right knee. Sweep and lower. Swing to your pancake stretch. Wide leg forward fold. Back stroke that right arm. Pick up the hips. Fall in triangle. Lift the knee. Thread it under the hip. Spin back up to the left. Crunch. Crunch. Stay. Extend arm and foot this time. Pull like you're reaching in both directions with all your energy. Bring the foot down, lift. This time we stay and lift through, thread that left leg. Spin to straddle, your pancake fold. Lift up, backstroke, left hand. Hips up, swivel into fallen triangle. Lift that inner thigh, swing it down, come back to the top. Nice work, release it. Take some nice calming breaths. We're just gonna finish up with one more standing flow. Go ahead and walk onto your feet. And we'll come to the back of the mat so we have space in front of us this time. Shin grab, right knee tucks to chest. See if you can bring your belly to your thigh. So we're gonna do a squat right here. It's a great way to practice pistol squats if you're not quite there yet. Low, as deep as you can. Maybe the wrist, left wrist hits right, uh, left quad, lift. Now we will take the ankle, cross it, figure four, squat, and lift. We can try a couple of those. Squat, external rotation as the knee opens, the hip swings open, and lift. Now step forward for a deep lunge. All right, so from your lunge, we're gonna jump switch, or only jump of the day, except when we jumped on the hands, jump. Press all the way back to your shin grab. Yeah, straighten out the right leg, straighten out the spine. Deep, deep squat. If you fall out like I did, try it again. Deep squat, stand. Flex the foot, cross the ankle over the right quad knee, rotates outward. Dip for two. Figure four squats. Deepen, extend. Big step forward for the lunge. Get some momentum, maybe a couple bounces. Jump, switch, press back. Grab the shin, straighten out. Deep squat for two. And one. And figure four. It's like a pigeon squat for two. One, big walk forward. Lunge, bounce, bounce, switch. Shift back, grab, balance. Two deep squats, down, up, down, up, cross, figure four squat, down, ah, falling, lost it, up, and down, and up, step forward, lunge, bounce, bounce, switch, push back, come to standing Tadasana. At the back of your mat, now ragdoll down, Plank walk forward, chaturanga, 
upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg pigeon, uh, sorry, lizard lunge, the outside of the right hand. Drop the back knee, charge the heart forward. Walk the left hand wider and then circle around. Horizon stretch, lower the hips, perhaps taking the right hand to the inner thigh. And again, finding that external rotation, rock, sway, whatever feels good. You could try to grab for the back top of the foot. You could drop to left forearm, <sighs> lots of options. King lizard, maybe grab right ankle and left ankle or top of the foot, spiral open. Come back through lizard lunge. Hold it here. We're gonna kick the left foot through, right arm up, kick through. Roll back, abdominals, toe tap, roll up, toe tap. Hips up, hips down. Hips up, push shoulder down, hips down. Hips up, swing left foot back. Hand, spine, shoulder width apart, plank position to downward facing dog. Left leg to outside left pinky finger. Melt the back knee down. Settle, sway, rock. Right hand can come a little forward. Spin, horizon stretch, reach back. Hand can come to inner thigh, rotate the left hip away and in. You can walk that foot a little closer, drop to forearm, right hand to left ankle. See if you can reach outside top of the foot. It might be hard to reach the foot, the hand, uh, the foot, so you could come up, grab, and then maybe work down to lower, whatever you need to do. No force, listening to our bodies. You wanna find those edges, stay where you can still keep the breath strong. Release. Pop up onto the hands, lift the back knee, left hand lifts, right foot scoops through. Roll back using the abdominals. Hand, left hand to right toe, crunch. Press onto right forearm, crunch. Press into right hand to press the shoulder, lift three. Lift hips, lower two, feel that side crunch. One, lift, swing the right foot back, hands down, downward facing dog. Bring the knees down. Cat cow, round and arch. Now side shoulder to hip crunch. Neutral, crunch, neutral, oblique, crunch. Make it be work. Four, three, hip to shoulder, two, hip to shoulder, one. Awesome job. Lower down into child's pose. Bring your palms to the base of the neck, thumb, right at that cervical spine, stretching the triceps, releasing down the back and hips, and taking some nice calming breaths. You're gonna stay as long as you like, trying to just release, relax, feel your heart beating, feel the sweat on your forehead. Try to let go of all that work we did allowing your body to restore and repair and re-energize. Thank you so much for joining me. Please let me know how class went. I'd love to hear from you. Take one more deep breath in, fill up that back body. Big sigh out. I hope you feel amazing in your body. And again, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.